Oh, that was pretty tight. All right. Huh? Why did they not put us in the truck, chicken? one night we might look for somewhere else to park tomorrow if it's not windy because it was really windy coming up to Blenheim today Aww. where to park decisions Hello. Yeah. stay <laughs> you desperately want out don't you I love this place you do yeah Oh, I wish you'd let me out first, son. Yeah. Go. 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 on. Oh. <laughs> Good night, 11 year old. Good night. You're going to be 12 in the morning. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Sleep well. Sleep well. <laughs> what? <laughs> bye bye, 11 year old. Bye. <laughs> Hello, 10 year old. Alright, who's 12 today? Me! <laughs> Happy my birthday, hat. JJ! My Thanks! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lala. We've been one year exactly today since we left the Auckland area because Josiah turned 11 the day we left and now he's turning 12 and we're heading back north. The time has come that Josiah has been so excited to find out if he's taller than me on his 12th birthday. I think he's about half an inch off still. Don't you tiptoe. Yep. <gasps> Oh, oh. So close. <laughs> he's half an inch shorter still. So there you go. Oh. That, that, one, that one there needs to be written. Okay. okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm, by the way. Take no! <laughs> oh, that's what I'm trying to do. Look at that. Oh, this was right, fun. so what are we doing now, JJ? Going to the warehouse so I can spend my money. And then we're going for a swim? Yeah. Going to the Blenheim Pool? Because it's really hot. And then we're going to also put on a massive load of laundry for JJ's birthday. So yeah, we're going to head into town and do some things. Yay! Yay! Lovely day at the Waterley Racecourse today. We've had two days here, two nights. And today we're going to head either to uh, the Waira Diversion or there's a park over property closer to Picton. We've got one more night and then we sail across tomorrow evening to Wellington. Hope we don't forget that. I'll follow you or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, do you have a Yeah, I'll lock it. So yeah, we've come to this park over property. It's at Kotomiko, across from the Picton Airport. Only about five minutes from Picton. We're gonna stay here tonight and then head into Picton tomorrow and have a play and explore. And then, um, yeah, go wait in line at the boat. So yeah, just $5 a night to stay here. 
<laughs> Don't I? Sit behind him like you're on a motorbike. Here, hold on to his waist. What? His waist, what? round his waist. No, mum, his waist is tenuous. <laughs> <laughs> well, do it, do it, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Marcel's doing the um, putting in some grease in the track. <coughs> Hello. <laughs> so this is it. In here, this is grease. It's quite special grease. It's sort of thin, but it goes into this cartridge here. And so then, as we're driving. Randomly, I can push a button inside the cab, and it greases all the so every <clears throat> every knuckle. The knuckles have a this here is a grease nipple. <laughs> grease what? That's what they call a grease nipple. Lovely. But because I've got that there, I don't need to pump grease into that. It just goes into all these knuckles. That's awesome. Automatically. And you know it definitely works. Well, they're all grease. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> It's so good, there's no oil leaks or anything around this engine at all. I just made Marcel repeat that for the channel because yeah. <laughs> he said it off camera. Oh, does it just. That goes on it. And then you put that over top. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's it. As easy as that. Sweet bro. Oh yeah, he's got Was that weird? <laughs> Was that super weird? Oh, you freaked out. Did that scare you? No. Beast is a transformer. Oh, well, if it was, <laughs> it would have actually transformed. Yeah. Man, we need to get that bottom drawer fixed so we don't have to do that, eh? Oh. Yeah. Put this down in there too, please. Oh. Yes, ma'am. So we're heading into Picton. Um, kids want to play at that cool playground that's in Picton. Who's coming in the car? Me. So we're just going to go do our grey waste and I'm going to go to the dump and get rid of that. And this. Just kidding. <laughs> hey Lola. Yeah? Take the GoPro and show shutting the gate. <laughs> so it's not the flashiest spot to park for the day, but um, this is really the only place that's big enough to park best. There's heaps of trucks parked around here. Yep. A little bit. And Picton is busy. We think maybe there's a cruise ship in, but not sure. So yeah, there is a cruise ship in town. <laughs> Samra and Josiah are about to live, relive my childhood because I've been on this when I was little. <laughs> So when we were driving in here, we noticed there was a market on, so we're going to go have a look at that. Right, dinner and then hooking up the car, doing the dishes yeah. and driving around to wait in line, eh? Bit of chicken yeah. vegetable soup with a two <laughs> mountain noodles on it. <laughs> yeah, boy. This has been the noisiest place to park. Just, just everyone, trucks and buses all day, round and round. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boat time. Yeah. 
So getting on the Blue Bridge at Picton with a 12 metre house truck towing a car turned out to be somewhat harder than getting on at the Wellington end when we were towing the even longer car trailer last time we crossed the Cook Strait. You are about to hear how I react to stress, lots of talking and questions compared to Marcel's more silent approach. So they told us to bring beef through the normal vehicle chicken, but really, are we gonna fit? Oh, that was pretty tight. All right. Are there any more real tight bends like up here? That's a pretty tight bend too. Really, I came on back with you and Yeah, but a pretty decent corner just here. I'm not sure we'll be able to swing around it, but that's what they told us to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have room. <laughs> yeah. Too bad. Why did they not put us in the truck chicken? Excuse me. Say straight out. Good thing I've uh, driven truck for years. So she's measuring us to make sure we've got the length right. What did you book? 12 metres plus 5? Oh, I can't remember. Can't remember. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, hopefully it's all good and we don't have to pay more. So yeah, Beast is a little bit longer from the drawbar to the back of the car because Marcel had the A-frame extended since we did the booking. <laughs> Whoops. We've had to pay an extra $26, which is fine, but we'll have to probably adjust that on our booking on the way back as well. Have this problem last time but it was about here that we realized we weren't gonna fit. He's got to unhook the car. So we're on the boat I got told not to film down there because um, the guy said it's private property and I had to delete the video and not film them so I'll obviously still put us getting on the boat but just not them. Marcel had to rush and unhook Zippy from the A-frame because we couldn't spin round. He had to back up, which we can't do on the A-frame. So he had to quickly unhook Zippy and then um, I'm parked in a different lane so I'll be driving off the boat separately to Beast and just meet you somewhere in Wellington. Um, yeah? Um, come. Yep. What? She oh, poor sheepies. Thank you so much for watching our family's adventures. If you enjoy our content, please make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.